Welcome to module seven of our course on management accounting. This module is variable versus absorption costing. It's a short module, but I think you're going to find it useful. It combines what we've already discussed about the product cost, material, labor, and overhead, and what we've added to that in recent chapters, which is variable versus fixed cost, and it looks at a quirky challenge. And this is the challenge. This is the issue right here. So we know uh, the cost of our hamburger is the cost of the material, right? The meat, the cheese, the bun, etc. The cost of the labor, which is the chef's wages at, for the time they're cooking that burger. And the cost of the overhead, which we said are indirect factory costs or indirect kitchen costs. And so one imagines maybe, well, obviously utilities or cleaning supplies would be indirect costs and it's difficult to trace them. Also like kitchen rent, you know, if I pay uh, $2,000 a month to rent the kitchen, how many dollars worth of that rent went into the burger? It's difficult to trace. And so we've learned all different ways of tracking or applying that overhead cost into the cost of our burger. Um, this chapter though focuses on like is this a variable or a fixed cost because we know the material plus the labor plus the overhead that equals our cost right that's our product cost and that ultimately becomes our cost of goods sold so is cost of goods sold variable or fixed and the answer is actually it's kind of complicated. It's a mix of variable and fixed costs. Materials, for example, are variable. We would definitely think of direct materials as being variable. Labor also is variable. The more burgers we make, the more chef's wages we have to pay. Overhead, however, is a mix of variable and fixed costs. Overhead contains things like uh, factory rent or kitchen rent, totally a fixed cost, absolutely a fixed cost, but it contains costs that also vary with production. You know, you're going to use more gas to heat the grill. If you're cooking more burgers, there is a variable element to that cost. So it, it contains both variable and fixed both. So there's variable MOH and there's fixed MOH. And so this creates a small problem for us. If you think back to last chapter where we calculated um, break even point, we used variable and fixed cost. Well, determining your variable and fixed cost is tricky because cost of goods sold has this combo of variable and fixed cost. So this chapter shows us kind of how to split it out. So we have these categories of costs, right? We got material, plus labor. Actually, I'll do it down here. I prepared this in advance for absorption costing, which is the traditional costing. And this is gap. This is what is allowed within the rules of accounting. So all companies do it this way. And this is what we've learned thus far. We've said, okay, what, what counts as part of the cost of goods, cost of the product is material plus labor plus overhead. And I'm going to break this down plus variable overhead plus fixed overhead and that is the cost of our product variable costing which is the number we're going to want to use for like break-even analysis is slightly different so this is non-gap so it's not under the rules of accounting but it's it's useful for a manager to make some analysis uh the variable costing says just use the variable cost which is material we said that was variable labor and variable overhead but it excludes costs, a uh, uh, fixed overhead in calculating our cost of goods sold. So variable cost of goods sold is different from traditional accounting cost of goods sold. That concept, the fact that this one has fixed overhead included and this one doesn't, that's the main topic of the chapter. As I always say, the best way though to learn this stuff is to do examples and I've got several examples ready to go for you. I can't wait to get started and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. The next video in our series is right up here and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.